guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video hope you guys are doing well today i am doing a very very impromptu video i was just going through my stuff and i was planning which kind of videos to film next uh, so i remembered i still have to film the haul video which i promised i have to do the skincare video uh, where i'm going to declutter my skincare and show you guys what are the new things i have purchased and all along the way i'll also tell you about uh, the products which i have already used so this will be kind of a haul video come a review video very casual this was not planned i don't really have any makeup on as well today just a little bit of lipstick and a little eyeshadow felt a little good so i thought let me film this video today last saturday i didn't get time because we were out uh, it was my birthday weekend me and my husband so we were out of uh, we went for a staycation basically so yeah this weekend i have some time so i am going to film some videos but for now let's go to my skincare drawer and declutter some skincare Alright okay guys, so now I'm in my bedroom where I keep all of my skincare and we'll go through my skincare drawer and declutter all the skincare I don't use anymore because I purchased some new skincare and I need to replace my existing skincare with these products i haven't shown you these products yet i filmed a haul video where i showed uh, told you that i will be filming another skincare declutter video where i'll show you what are the products i have purchased so some of them i have filmed in another haul video these are also some of the products these ones i have shown you already in another video uh, that is coming soon but this ones these ones i haven't shared yet so let me quickly show you what i have and then we'll go and declutter my skincare drawer so from the basket here, the first thing which I want to show you are some body shop things which I have purchased. So this is the body shop Moringa Shah Gel. This thing has been sitting in this basket for so long. I have to film this video then I can start using it. Uh, so now I can finally use this and I am almost running out of the current Shah Gel I have. So body shop Moringa Shah Gel, I really like the scent of this. Uh, from body shop, I have two more products, the drops of youth mist so this is like a jelly kind of a texture i am not sure if you have seen this one uh, it's like a jelly inside it doesn't feel very liquidy but when you spray it is a liquidy jelly i mean a liquidy mist so it's a really really nice feeling i really like this uh, line of a body shop the drops of youth line so i got this and i've got the cream this one is an old favorite i have used it two or three uh, tubs of this and I have uh, I mean it's so old that I have a review of this on my blog I don't know how long uh, it has been since I have blogged but yeah this one I am uh, like I have used up quite a lot you can see and I re really love the scent of it I use it every morning and I just feel like it gives me such a nice burst of hydration and it makes the skin very clear this one really really works on me and it's very nice and lightweight so I got that I have a new body shop vitamin E gentle face wash I'm running out of my face wash also so I had to film this haul so that I can start using this one this is a vitamin E gentle facial wash I haven't used this before so I have really no idea if you have used it let me know so I'm excited to try this from body shop the next product is this one this is a daily glow cleansing polish so this is the vitamin C daily glow cleansing polish I hope you can see this one also I haven't really used before so it's very exciting to try some products from body shop I used to purchase from them so much earlier so this is for dull tired grumpy skin okay so there is one more product from body shop I almost forgot about this this is a shah gel the white musk shah gel this is how it looks like the white musk shah gel I love the fragrance of uh, this one so I wanted to use the shah gel I have never tried this one before so let's see how it is so essentially it's a body shop haul i have one two three four the sun is so strong now five and six six products from body shop and then i have two products from colourpop this is the fourth ray beauty uh the sister brand of colourpop the skincare brand so i got a dew it hydrating hyaluronic mist another mist and a daily eye cream so the, let me open up this mist. I have not opened this yet. This is how the mist looks. Very refreshing. I have not tried it. I will try it. Any kind of mist I love. And then we have the 4th Beauty Daily Eye Cream. The current eye creams which I am using are from... I will show you. Uh, they are also pretty nice. But I wanted like a regular eye cream. 
so I got this okay I will use it and we'll see how it is okay and there are uh, there is one more product this is the fresh faced favorites uh, this one I got uh, during the Sephora haul the makeup haul which I filmed uh, so there is a face wash there's a charcoal mask and the gel moisturizer the gel moisturizer I have used it I really like it the other two things I haven't used so I'll use it and I'll let you know how I like them and I don't know if this falls in skincare or not I have two new perfumes so I have opened both of them and I really really love them this is a repurchase this is one of my favorite scents. This is from Kalina Herrera. This one I purchased for myself. And I think if you have seen one of my haul videos, then you must have seen this one going empty. And I said that I will hunt this down and I'll purchase one more bottle. So I did hunt this down and purchased one more bottle. I love the scent. It's a very feminine, floral, musky sort of a scent. And this one is a gift from my husband, the Bulgari perfume. It looks like this. It's a very very pretty fancy packaging very nice this one he got from India this one is actually because I love this scent so much right this scent so much and this is not very easily available I'm not sure if they have discontinued or not I'm not too sure but this is not very easily available so when my husband went to India he asked for a scent similar to this so they gave him this and this one is also quite similar so both the fragrances I really really liked and uh, yeah, so I will I'm very happy I have two new scents to try on so yeah those are the new skincare things which I have purchased and which I need to put inside my drawer so let me take out all of my skincare from my drawer and then I will declutter the things which I am not using you'll get sort of like a mini review and then we will put these things inside my drawer and then I'll show you my final drawer all right guys, so I'll show you my drawers now my skincare drawer and this is how they look like so here is one drawer this one has masks body lotions and hair care products and mostly like mask kind of skincare products and here i have another drawer here i have mostly like serums and day creams night creams mist eye creams and stuff like that so many of these products i have actually not used or used them up so i need to declutter and just clean up these two drawers let's go okay guys i have just put everything on my bed and we will see which ones i need to keep which ones i don't so this is a new sephora kit which has some skincare i'm using all of this so let me just take out these things i will be using them this is also a new skincare kit so let me take out these as well this is also a treatment fresh from fresh keeping i haven't really started using it maybe i'll keep it inside the box itself so that i know that what is to be done Biosuns vitamin E oil. I have to use both of these. Uh, the Innisfree essence. This one I have almost uh, finished it up and it's pretty old now. Revitalizing toner. I will empty this out. This extra whitening uh, Nivea deodorant. I don't really use anymore. I'll leave it. Then we have the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Black Blackout. I mean Blackhead Out Balm. This one also didn't work out for me. Laneige Lip lip uh, lip balm this one i have used this one is the eye cream the retinol eye cream from the inky list i'm using this currently the rose flash balm from pixie really like it but i've used it up these are the pixie lip balm didn't really like it that much i don't want to use it anymore hand creams foot creams so british rose hand cream and a foot cream i'll keep it these are the two products which I'm using currently. So this is my night creams. The Dr. Dennis Cross night cream. It's actually not a light cream but I use it as a night cream. The C plus collagen deep cream. Okay. And the other one is Ula Hendrickson. The C rush brightening cream. I really really like it. Both of them work very similarly. This one I feel like it just does something. Something extra for my skin. Skin looks brighter, cleaner clearer super more plump i uh, really really like it this particular one dr dennis cross it's amazing so these two i will keep and this is the hyaluronic acid from inky list this one also i'll keep it's a serum let's go quickly to the other box i'm going very very quick the honeymoon glow from pharmacy 
it's not going anywhere i will use it this is the brightening eye cream from inkilis this one also i use l'oreal revitalift it's actually pretty nice i quite like it so this one i will keep codeli beauty elixir just bought recently keeping laneige lip slipping mask really really like these finished it so i'll let it go currently i'm using this one the agave lip mask or lip treatment so i'm liking it quite a lot it's not like something something which is too amazing i don't know it's like a nice lip balm for night time so this is my current one this one is the glow recipe watermelon mist i think i'm done with it this is the truth serum from ula hendrickson really really like it this one also works very nicely it's a collagen boosted true c complex and it just uh, gives a nice plumping effect to the skin and the skin looks brighter really liked this one but i have a little bit left i think i'll use it up both of these products i'm still using from fourth ray beauty the turmeric rose milk and the the turmeric face milk i mean and the rose milk both the both of them i really like they're very hydrating have a slight bit of glowiness to it this turmeric one and very hydrating uh, moisture booster serums so definitely keeping next we have the lotus youth face cream uh, i think i have got this one another one of this this one is from supergoop a very nice daily moisturizer which has spf but this is pretty old i think i'll get rid of this yeah it smells really really bad these two from sugandha uh, skin care the lotus white moisturizer and the rose hip moisturizer i think uh, they have expired i have little bit left in both of them uh, they worked out pretty okay for me i think i like the rose hip moisturizer a little bit better than the white lotus one i like more hydration in my moisturizers that's all both of them are very nice ingredient products but yeah i mean i didn't find them like too too amazing so i have used them i have liked liked them then we have the innisfree jeju pomegranate revitalizing serum this one also is i think expiry of 12 months this one has expired also and i have used it quite a lot and i really liked it this is very hydrating very nice for daytime use so yeah i liked it but i think i'll get it off this the avino daily moisturizing lotion i think i don't use it this one i really liked from sugandha i think from out of both the moisturizers this one i liked better the rose hip serum it's a very interesting formula with the with the roll on cap and everything it's a very cool uh, product and it works very nicely as well i think i saw more results with this one it's basically the a uh, rose hip oil and rose hip oil suited my skin very nicely if i get a chance i will repurchase this one this one i really liked uh, but yeah this is expired now this is really really good next time i go to india i'll buy another of this the kama ayurveda kumkumadi uh, night serum this is very nice it works so so well on my skin it's basically a beauty oil or a beauty treatment for night time and my skin loved it my skin felt so good in this i have used it over 2 years back now i haven't gone to india in 2 years so i don't have a new one but next time i will definitely buy a new one of this this one i loved Then I have this one from Myoho, the glow serum. This one is quite sticky and uh, it doesn't settle on the skin. It's it. I mean, it doesn't get absorbed absorbed very nicely. It's quite sticky. I just didn't like the texture. Uh, idea wise, it's good, but uh, yeah, I don't think I will repurchase this one. I don't know for my dry skin. I just didn't like the texture and the feeling of it. That's all. It's a little too heavy for me. Banana bright eye cream from Ula Hendrickson. This one also I don't have a strong opinion on this yet. I have used it, but I haven't used it a ton. I mean, I have used very little of it. So, I don't have a opinion. I quite like it. It's vitamin C for your eyes and it's not expired yet. I'll keep it. The British Rose hand cream. I love this hand cream. Definitely staying. Nivea cream. I don't know why I have it. I I was just curious about this. I really like the scent of this cream. So, I had purchased it once and I don't know. I just like the scent and the old school nature of it. I have never used it in my life. I just love the scent of it. So, yeah, that's why I have it. And then we have the Innisfree Jeju Pomegranate Pomegranate Capsule Cream. This one I don't think I have like a major opinion on. It's okay. I wouldn't really recommend it that much. 
it was a nice nice jelly cream sort of thing not for my dry skin so this one i will throw moving on here quickly there is a vitamin c vitamin c serum this one also uh, i think it has expired this is from pure bubbles i don't know if you can tell it's an indian brand and i really really liked this one very nice a very lightweight watery kind of a vitamin c texture vitamin c serum and it just quickly gets absorbed and it gives a nice freshness to the skin and i liked it this one was actually sent to me by bhumika from makeup and, makeup and smiles so thank you bhumika i really liked it there is a little bit left i think i will let it go now because it has expired <laughs> this one is also expired the pixie glow mist i don't really like it that much it is a like uh, it's like a oil liquidy emulsion kind of a thing you have to shake it and then apply it on your skin i don't know i just never like the feeling of this on my skin yeah oh this one is also old the vitamin c tonic from pixi oh my god how much i love this product but now of course there are so many new products like this in the market so it's like a um, you have too many options now this was one of the first ones i had tried the vitamin c uh, toner and i really really liked it i in fact have a full review of this on my blog yeah that is how old this not this bottle but that is how long i had tried this so this one also i think i will get rid of okay this one is also pretty old i think 12 months yes i had it has expired this also this was nice actually this is from revolution beauty it's a hyaluronic essence it just gives a burst of energy to the face really liked it but as you could see i haven't really been able to use it that much i've used it quite a lot actually but i haven't been able to finish it it's expired ah one of my favorite things this one is also 12 months uh i will check on this when did i purchase this it's i think a little over 12 months but if i if i feel like the texture hasn't changed too much i'll just use it a little bit more and probably get a new one this is a super serum ultra glow serum from sephora i really really like it it's vitamin c and e also i think yes vitamin c and e and it just works great for my skin and this one is another one from myoho pure by priyanka this one uh, it doesn't really work out for me i don't need it it's a green tea toner uh, it's for acne prone skin expiry date is august 2020 uh, i think i should get it off this now i haven't really used it that much because i didn't need to use it so far i have i am getting rid of few things quite a lot of expired skin care oh my god okay so i finally sorted my uh, skin care feels so good to clean up declutter and sort so this entire basket i will throw away expired skin care all of these products are going to go in my washroom and there is one hair care product these will go in the other drawer uh then i have this one makeup remover okay these are all the serums and treatment kind of products essence serums and all those things are here in this little small basket and this one contains eye cream daily lotions and other uh, lip balms and creams like that which i use daily and then i have another one here for all the hand creams foot creams and all that and then i have all my mist right here so these things i will put in my drawer back in my drawer and then i will get out all the things from the other drawer okay guys so these are all the products from my other drawer i can't believe how many expired products i am sitting on i think last two years i haven't really tried a lot of products i haven't purchased anything new these also i haven't been able to finish because we were at home uh, not going out too much everything was you know kind of like the time has stood still so i have to remind myself that this is 2022 and these are almost 2 years old probably so i should get rid of them i hope this video inspires you also to get rid of or declutter your products so uh, yeah let's get started i think i i don't have a lot of things here i don't know where to start also okay let's start off with a small basket this is the mamonde sleeping mask oh my god uh, i uh, there was a time when i was just obsessed with sleeping masks i used to have so many of them nowadays i don't really use sleeping masks also that much i just use that vitamin c night cream and i just love how my skin feels so this one i think it's pretty old yeah 12 months is the expiry i'll get rid of this the nutrigen hydro boost 3d sleeping mask this also i think i have reviewed uh, two years back really really liked it uh, there is 
I've used it quite a lot actually. You can see it's like all well, pretty down. I've used it quite a lot. The scent still feels good, but I think it has expired. I don't want to use it now. It's probably been two years already. This was a hyaluronic acid sleeping mask. I will go and probably buy another one of this one. I quite liked it and it's a drugstore. It was not very expensive. Uh, gave a nice uh, layer of hyaluronic acid on the face at night. The Laneige sleeping mask. Of course, these are really, really good. I loved them. This was uh, which one? This one also has I've used up quite a lot. And remember there was this uh, holiday times when we used to purchase these things. Uh, I think last two years I haven't purchased this Laneige set. So maybe this year I will purchase the water sleeping mask. This one is old. Then we have the Green Clean Pharmacy. Yes, this is the one which I was telling you about in one of the videos. I forgot which one was my favorite uh, cleansing balm. So this brand, the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite cleansing balm. And I have a new one of it. I think I opened just now. So I will keep this one. Jeju Orchid Sleeping Mask. Yeah, I think this is also pretty new. Although I don't think I have opened it. Yeah, I haven't opened it. Okay, I can keep this. Okay, let me keep it. I haven't opened it. Next, we'll go to this one. I don't even know what is in here. A, La a Sephora makeup remover. Uh, I think this is pretty old. I'll get rid of this. I have few of them now. The Laneige sleeping, the firming sleeping mask. This one I actually didn't use that much. I don't have like a very strong opinion on this. This one I just liked it. I think I like the other two masks better, more hydrating. This one probably didn't really do much for my skin. This one is not used that, man, uh, that much. I will keep it the Pixi Peel and Polish. This is close to expiry, I feel like. Probably I have another four or five months on this. Yeah, it expired in May 2022. So I will use this one. I love this very, very nice uh, exfoliating uh, polish for the face without it being too rough. And you can really, really see results. If you are uh, like f once in a while, it's very nice to use this one and just get your face polished and clean. Okay, what else is there? I have some body lotions right here. These are all body lotion, body lotion. This is a cleansing balm. This is the Glow Recipe Cleansing Balm. The papaya sorbet one and i haven't really used it that much i have used it twice i think and i really like it it's very nice it takes off the makeup in in a second and it's very uh it's very much similar to the pharmacy one so i'm using it currently i'll let you know further thoughts and i think majority here are like random things like i have a sunscreen here all of these came from the previous section of the video then I have some hair care things here. I'll just go through them separately. They're all hair, hair, hair. Okay, these two probably, this one I love. This is definitely I'm keeping. This is a body shop foot cream. I just love it. It just soothes and I don't know, makes the tiredness of the feet go away. Plus, if you have a little bit of that cracky feel uh, in your heels, this one will get rid of it. It's highly highly recommend so this one i'll put in my foot cream drawer then i have some sunscreen sunscreen this one i think i'll uh, get rid of this one was from revolution this is the feed your face mask and this had coconut mango chia seeds it's like a scrubbing mask essentially i used it it was pretty good but uh, i wouldn't really recommend it it was i mean there was nothing extraordinary for me I think I'll get rid of this now. Okay, I think for this section, that's about it. Just some random things. Hair care, body care, uh, Olaplex, again, hair care, sunscreen. Then we have makeup removers and things like that. So let me sort out this and then be right back. Okay, I feel so, so good. I have sorted everything. So here I have my hair products now. So in hair products, I have this one from Satinic, a hair mask. I haven't used this yet. I'll use it and see how it is. Otherwise, I have the Olaplex. Then I have the Ordinary Hair Care, the Serum for Hair Density. Then there is the Kumkumadi Bring Intensive Hair Treatment. This one has not expired yet. And then I have a vol non volumizing no oil hair serum kind of a thing. So these are all the products here. 
Then for, these are all the makeup remover stuff. So this one I really like from Shloka. This is uh, what my mother-in-law sends to me. This is a micellar water. And I really, really like it. It works great. It has green tea in it and everything. And then I have three balms. So this is the Glow Recipe, Cleaning Take That Off and Pharmacy. These three balms in their sorted order. And then I have sunscreens here. So these are the two sunscreens, this one and the pharmacy sunscreen. I have this one also as a body sunscreen, the body lotion. This one I think, I think I can still use it. Is it expired? No, it's not expired yet. Uh, I use it sometimes and this one is the Sol de Janeiro. And then these are the masks. These are the only masks I have currently. The sleeping mask. This is one Philosophy Pore Extractor Mask. So this is for something which I use for my nose nose area only and it just cleans that area then i have the peel and polish from pixie the body shop one which i just showed you then we have an origins charcoal mask and one rose face mask from fresh with real rose so these are all the masks i have this fits so good i have so many masks so i can use this i feel so happy so let me arrange everything in the drawer and then i'll give you a final look okay guys so these are both of my drawers oh my god they were overflowing with things now they are quite empty so this one is the first one there is the second one my skincare so from here i think i'll take off this one one of them to my bathroom where i usually clean my face this one and the micellar water probably i'll move from here other things will stay here i added my new face wash this mask section is pretty empty i will probably put my cleanser and backup cleanser and things like that over here and then there's the hair sunscreen body lotion two body lotion amazing i love it okay and let's go to the next drawer there so here is my skincare drawer this big basket is of eye creams lotions uh, moisturizers all of those kind of things then we have the serums if you can hear some noise that's my younger one doing some acting of crying uh, she's not actually crying and then there is uh, the serums essence and stuff like that and then behind i have the hand creams food cream and behind here i have the mists and then behind you can see some backup skincare which i will use when i am done i feel so happy and this is also way too much i don't know how much i will be able to finish but yes i'm happy that i have only the products which i can use and which i like Okay guys, so that's how I have decluttered my skincare. I feel so, so light. I can finally use my new products. It's very, very important to get it off your expired products. No matter if a little bit is left, we always tend to keep it and try to finish it. It's better to get it off your expired products if you have new things to use. Otherwise, it's like a entire cycle which repeats itself. The new things get old and they get, then they are close to expiry. So I am feeling so so good. I have those two baskets behind which are full of products which I have used. All of them I have used. I have reviewed. Uh, you can go and check out my skincare uh, videos. I have reviewed them as well. And uh, yeah, I think I have had enough use. Some are expired. Uh, so it's time to let them go. If you have any questions about any of these products, then do let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to reply to you. And I hope you enjoyed watching this declutter video. I feel so good. It took me about one, one and a half hours max to de declutter this entire drawer and take quick decisions. So I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again really, really soon in my next video. Bye.